In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how sine theta divided by theta goes to 1. I'm going to draw out a circle and show you theta, kind of show it to you visually. We're using an animation. So now I draw a circle, and I'll make a line. I'll call it radius. That's equal to r. So I'll sweep out an angle, and I'll call that angle theta. Could be anything, but I'll call it theta. It's a Greek symbol. Now, the length of this arc right there is called r theta, and that's the length by definition. The green line is r sine theta. Recall that sine theta is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. I can rewrite this as the hypotenuse times sine theta is equal to the opposite side. And in this case, r times sine theta is equal to the opposite side. And that's where that r sine theta comes from. I can take that r times sine theta divided by r times theta. I can take the limit of theta as it goes to 0. Those r's cancel out. As theta becomes small, notice what happens to the opposite side, the green line, and the blue line, which is the arc length. So as theta becomes smaller and smaller, approaches 0, this ratio approaches 1. These two sides, the opposite side, the green line, and the arc length, the blue line, they're getting to be about the same length. As I let theta even get smaller, it gets closer and closer to zero, so it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Notice the opposite side and the arc length now are about the exact same length. With a very small theta, I see that the opposite side, the green side, and the arc length are just about the same length. That means the ratio of sine theta divided by theta is also one, or is approaching one. And there you have it. So as always, share the knowledge. Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Questions, comments, and like the video, please. Subscribe to Trig Fun. I'm always posting new stuff, and we'll keep posting new stuff.